Hello, 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 GH Daily Recap fans like myself. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Let's talk a little bit about Thursday, June the 9th, 2022's episode of General Hospital. Um, eh, it was an okay, I guess, typical Thursday episode. Not as good as yesterday's episode, but it was it was okay. I think for me... Um, as I knew, you know, one of the early scenes, we have Nicholas daydreaming about he and Esme. He's always like that, you know. Oh, and then at the end of the show, he goes, I'm going to the drugstore. Did you need anything? I honestly don't know what he meant by that, because did he use something he should have gotten from the drugstore when he had sex with Esme on the floor in that room. So I don't know, it may be too late for a drugstore because I already know Esme is gonna turn up or pretend to be pregnant and have a fake uh, positive test to just really break up uh, Nicholas and Ava. And she says, oh, if you choose to tell Ava I will, I will support you. I'll be right by your side. I want you to know you won't be alone, Nicholas. Uh, what about Spencer? Because if Nicholas tells Ava, Spencer's going to find out. And how's Spencer going to react? Esme showed her true colors right then and there. And Nicholas, for one, should have been very, very worried. So there's definitely a storm of brewing with that. But we always know with Esme, there always is. Now, uh, the society setup thing, you know, we've got the loser guy. I even forget his name. Dante's friend that blew into town. He's really scumbag. Just, you know, a user, con man. Um, Britt saw right through him when he was trying to convince her to sue the company, saying that the owner's name was Zelda Telespi. Um, and then, of course, we get this Zelda Telespi walks in and makes Britt this offer to make things right. You know, she apologized profusely for the accident. And um, then at the end, what was interesting, she comes to Spinelli reporting to him, he hands her a wad of cash and she's saying everything's been taken care of or handled. And it really made me wonder, does she, I really think Spinelli, first I thought he owned the company. If he doesn't own the company, then he is paying her to set him up with Brit because she said she is, she's gonna make Brit her personal mission so that Brit won't be alone. She's going to find a match for Brit. I kind of think it's going to be Spinelli and maybe he's paying, you know, the owner for it or he bought the company and he still wants to be set up with Brit. One of the two. Tell me what your thoughts are. What do you think is going on with Spinelli? It has Carly and Sam worried because of course he's doing a complete change of character, change of dress. Although, I mean, I like his new dress. Spinelli was Spinelli. Now he seems to be maturing. So I kind of like it. Do you? I do. So um, Sasha, we had some scenes with Brando trying to figure out what's going on between Sasha and Gladys because Gladys, you know, overreacts. But he know one thing he knows about his mother is she doesn't really overreact. There's usually some kind of truth to her actions, even though she might be a big liar. But where Brando is concerned, she is no nonsense. And um, I don't know, covering for Sasha is in the end going to be the wrong move. Because if it's one thing Gladys knows, is Sasha did have pills and Sasha had taken some pills. She may, doesn't know the extent and thank goodness because then she would really know Sasha's just really good like Brando was, like most folks addicted you know, to drugs and hiding it and covering what's really, really happening with them. But you could just see the, the spiraling Sasha's doing and I don't understand why Brando 
doesn't see those signs as well, especially now that he has been made aware that there was some concern on his mother's part. That was kind of interesting to me. And then we had conversations between Trina and Jocelyn and, you know, Trina's expressing her worries about, you know, having to go to trial, maybe excused, um, expelled from college. And I mean, that, that is a whole lot going on for her being framed. And like I said, uh, that was way too, too perfect. And there were so many holes in that recording, um, in the device and everything else that Esme is just this master, master magician to be so young. Um, and then we had, I kind of like the scene where um, the Ava, Nicholas, Esme, Spencer were in the living room and Ava says, that they needed to get some things straight. And what she said was, oh, the deal I have between Spencer, oh, now includes Esme. And let me make sure we all understand this, that while we're all living in the house, you and Spencer are gonna have to be on your best behavior and not doing any of your, your past bad deeds. And Esme actually got a little indignant and stepped right up to Ava and it's like, and if I don't? And Ava stepped towards her and said, well, if you don't, then Spencer can go right back to waiting tables and, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you'll be waiting them next to him. And so Spencer, Nicholas steps in the middle, but then Spencer says, I agree to your terms, Ava. You know, I agree because let's face it, he really doesn't want to have to move and be alone with Esme. So this is kind of a win-win. Spencer has some buffers and Ava is begin, beginning to figure out. She even called Spencer out on him having feelings for Trina. You know, so Ava is, is figuring that out. So anyway, this was just a typical Thursday um, episode for me. Can you tell me what you liked in the comment section? What did you like about today? What didn't you like about today? Um, where do you think the Spinelli storyline is going? What is he up to? I would really, really like to hear um, comments on that. And I have a question for you. Does anybody remember way, way back when, years ago, when Damien Spinelli made his first debut on General Hospital? Years ago. Remember Sam and Jason were on this adventure to find something. I forget what were they trying to find. And they ended up finding Spinelli, calling himself Jackal, you know, um, in this house and they had to chase him down and he's going running it up and down up stairs and Jason had to subdue him. And that's how they introduced the character of Spinelli. And I think what ended up happen happening is Jason through that ordeal, whatever was happening in that storyline, uh, taking Spinelli with him to protect them. Um, so that was interesting. Years ago, it was actually Jason and Sam that found Spinelli. Um, so anyway, and I remember Spinelli gave Jason the nickname Sto Stone Cold, but I don't remember Samantha's. He would always call her Fair Samantha, but I kind of think in the beginning, he even had another nickname for Sam. If anybody can remember, what was Spinelli's original nickname for Sam was. Can you put that in the chat uh, box? Because I would really like to remember that or, or say, yeah, that's what it was. Or was it Fair Samantha? I don't know. I think it was something else. So anyway, I'm looking forward to Cliphanger Friday. Hopefully we'll have a cliffhanger tomorrow that I can share with you and talk about. So I will talk to you all tomorrow, June the 10th.